All right, guys, welcome to some SBF basketball. Tonight, we're going to have a thriller for you. It's going to be the Chupacabras taking on the talents. As you see, Charm City at 11 and 6, and the Chupacabras at 7 and 7. Unfortunately, the Chupacabras are making all the right moves. It's just not translating into W's for them. Let's see if that changes here tonight. Chupacabras have been doing very good in live games that we play through Twitch or post to the YouTube. To the YouTube, I like the way I say that. Uh, but it's the simulated games where they're struggling, so let's see how well they're able to play tonight as Cleveland and Richardson fight the jump ball, and Cleveland gets it. Champ Hansen back to Prigioni. Hansen's first game in a Chupacabras uniform. Let's see how he plays tonight. Chupacabras are really struggling on the offensive side of the ball. Champ Hansen should help that. Darnell Turner going to work on Jerry Johnson. He's going to drive in. Can't get the layup to fall. Shane Kerrigan with the board. Pushing tempo for the Talons. Over to Oof. Oof. Mid-range. Got it. That is what the Talons are all about. Forcing shot up, shots up in your face. Francois Prigioni now has the ball. Gets it over to Cassius Falls. Cassius is going to drive. Finds Cleveland. Cleveland goes up at Richardson. Can't get it. Gets his own board and puts it back. Got it on the second chance opportunity. Jatavius Cleveland, one of the better rebounders in this league. Mo Booker with the ball. Mo goes to the left. Puts it back to Jerry. Jerry takes the screen. Jerry drives. Jerry kicks it back. Shane doesn't take the three. Gets it to Ulf. Ulf's going to force the three. He can't get it to go. Shane was wide open on that last play. But unlike the rest of his teammate, Shane Kerrigan does not like to shoot the ball. Cassius falls, puts up a shot, and Shane Kerrigan comes down with the board. Kerrigan pushing tempo over to Ulf again. Can't get that one to fall. Sundin is one for three so far tonight. Cassius Falls orchestrating the offense for the Chooks. Gets a down low to Jatavius Cleveland. Cleveland can't get the easy shot to go. Sundin had a wide open Mo Booker, but instead shoots a logo shot and misses. This has been a crazy back and forth game so far. Prigioni gets it over to Falls. Champ Hansen has the mismatch. They decide not to use it. Instead, Falls attacks Richardson and misses. Booker now lays it in, and Prigioni taps him on the back, draws the foul, gives Booker the end one opportunity. I don't know what you're looking for, Prigioni. That was pretty clear. When you get beat, you've just got to let them finish the basket. Don't pick up the unnecessary foul. Don't put your team in any more trouble than it is. Prigioni has really been the weakness to this Chupacabra's offense. He was a sixth man for the Tornadoes and looked really good. Chupacabra's have him in the starting role and he just doesn't fit there. As Turner breaks away from the basket and gets the easy slam. Interesting, with all these ball hogs on the Talents team, Shane Kerrigan has brought the ball up multiple times this game already. I wonder if this is by design. Oh, Booker has the ball. Oh, gets back to Shane. Shane over to Oof. Oof puts it up. Can't get it to fall. Champ Hansen with the board and taking it down court himself. Takes it over to Prigioni. Prigioni to Turner. Turner mid-range doesn't fall. A lot of misses by both teams this, so far in this game. Oh, around the back gets it to Jerry. Jerry, much taller than Turner, goes to work. Puts it up strong and gets it over Turner and falls. Jerry Johnson, the former assassin, has really cemented himself as the best player on this talent roster. Ruggione over to Turner. Turner drives, picks up the foul, can't get it to go. He's going to get two free throws. Gets the 
first to fall. Darnell Turner at the line. Turner lining up for the second shot. Gets them both to go as it's now a one point game. Seven to six, Charm City leads it. Bo Booker with the possession. Gets it over to Shane. Shane to Jerry. Jerry goes to work on Darnell. Darnell, very good defender. Not a great defender, but very capable. Booker goes at Prigioni. Prigioni locks him down. Great possession there. Great. Fast break by Champ Hansen to streak the floor and get the wide open dunk. Champ Hansen, one of the best fast break big men in the league. He always takes off for the fast break bucket. Jerry puts up mid range, can't get it. Darnell with the rebound. Bergioni gets the possession. Bergioni's going to drive. He's got Champ open. Champ doesn't take the three. He can make those. Surprising to see him not shoot it there. Gets it over to Cleveland. Cleveland, pump fake. Doesn't get anybody with it. Turner has the ball. Gets it over to Cleveland. Cleveland's going to have to force up the three. No, gets it to Champ. Just enough time. Uh, not enough time. Shot clock violation by Champ there. Bad decision by Prigioni. Why would you give it to your non three point shooting big man with a second to go? That's why Prigioni, I said earlier, is the reason for the Chupacabra struggles. Ben Woods with a good steal. Turner drives. Going right at Junior Rollins. Louis Olsen blocks Cleveland at the rim. Bo Booker now takes the Louis screen. Floats it. Got it. Mo Booker is so good at those floaters. Turner has it again. Drives, loses it. Mo Booker picks it up. Booker in transition. Going to work. Trying to get by Darnell Turner. Darnell, very good perimeter defender. Doesn't get a lot of steals, but he knows how to keep his man in front of him. Sean Randolph, three. Can't get it. Hunter Cooley pulls it down. Chupacabra's now in transition. Darnell Turner can't get the open three to fall. Olsen now has the ball. Gets it to Booker. Booker for three. Can't get it. Ben Woods skies in there for that board. All right, Jimmy Blake's going to get a chance this time. Let's see if the Chupacabras can get some offense on this possession. Blake drives, kicks it out. Turner. Booker, very smart to go back and cover Turner. Wow. Athletic finish at the rim by Darnell Turner. Had to switch hands midair, but still gets it to go. Great move. Junior Rollins now, one of the most efficient shooters in the league this season, has the ball. Rollins shooting up over 60% from three. Step back, fading three, can't get it. That's not how you keep your efficiency high. As we now have Chupacabras with the possession. Blocked at the rim again. Louis Olsen, a great rim protector tonight. Jay Moore finds Booker wide open. Great pass by Jay Moore. These talents slowly have been taking over all the Stingray players. Last season they had Champ Hansen. This season they have Jay Moore and Shane Kerrigan. The original Stingrays roster is so good that everybody is using those players now to round out their teams, and it's working. Dan Kerrigan so far tonight has looked great for the talents in his first game with them. Open shot for the Choops, can't get it to fall. Junior Rollins thought about it, didn't do it though. Gonna drive. Loses the handle. Gets it over to Louie. Louie back over to Jay Moore. Sets the screen for him. Jay, mid-range, can't get it. Ben Woods with the board. These Chupacabras really one of the most surprising teams in the league as Jatavius Cleveland converts the alley-oop. 
Chupacabras are just stacked with talent, but they're just not meshing well together. They stay in about every game. When the games are simulated, though, which is most of the season, that's when these Chupacabras seem to struggle. I think we're going to really need to start to dissect those box scores and see who's struggling for them. I know Prigioni's one of them. Chupacabras in transition again, drops it down to Cooley. Cooley forces it up from mid range. That's a bad look. Bo Booker now pushing tempo. I will say one thing that would greatly improve this Chupacabras team would be adding some good bench players. Vin Woods is great off the bench. Jimmy Blake, okay. But Hunter Cooley has been one of the worst bench players since he's come into the league. So it would be great to see him get the place. At the end of one quarter, we have an extremely low-scoring game. Tough, hard-nosed defensive basketball here. Chupacabras lead the Talons by a score of 12 to 11. And we're back as Shane Kerrigan checks back into the game for the Talons. Hopefully we can see some uh, scoring here in this quarter. Make up for the lack of scoring in the first quarter. Randolph has the ball for the Talons up top. Olsen sets him a screen. That was a good screen getting him open. He drives but can't finish. Jimmy Blake with the board. One on one opportunity here. Blake pops it from mid. Can't get that to fall either. Looks like the offensive struggles will continue for both teams. Shane Kerrigan now has the ball. His offense is not much better. Drops it down to Louis Olsen. Louis can't get it to go. Ben Woods with the board. Two on one opportunity. Three on one fast break opportunity that gets ruined. Champ does not make the correct pass. Holds on to it instead. Let's see if they can still convert on this possession. Ben Woods for three can't get it rims out Shane Kerrigan now pushing tempo Shane's gonna drive and gets it to fall good move by Shane Kerrigan Shane Kerrigan one of the best fast break players in the league Champ Hansen the best fast break big men in the league really we have three of the best fast break players in the SBF playing tonight Jay Moore Champ Hansen and Shane here. You're seeing these guys lead every fast break charge. Jay Moore's opportunity in the fast break. Gives it to Shane. Good pass. Jay saves it. Great job by Jay Moore to save that. And then gives Shane another chance. Shane, bully ball in the paint. Great move. Shoves Blake out of the painted area and gets himself a wide open layup. Smart timeout by the Chupacabras. Bounding the ball. Looking for someone to get open. There's Cassius Falls. Cassius going to work on Ulf Sundin. Grigioni now. Going to set up the play. Let's see what the Chupacabras can draw up out of the timeout. Ben Woods three. Can't get it to go. Allen's just playing great defense on Ben Woods. Kerrigan's going to go out the paint again. That time it doesn't go as Ben Woods plays much better defense down there. Blake had the open three, didn't take it. Takes the Vinwood screen. Step back, mid-range. Can't get it to fall. Both teams just can't get the lid off the basket. There it is. Chris Richardson open, dunk opportunity gets blocked from behind. Cassius falls now. Attacks the rim, draws the foul and finishes the play and one and has the opportunity to tie the basketball game. Great move by Cassius Falls. Oh. 
great finish on that play. Cash just falls out the line. Ready to shoot two. Champ Hansen. Paint floater, got it to go. Chupacabra's back on top, 17-15. Last 30 seconds, the Chupacabra's have scored more points than they had in the last four minutes. Jerry. Three, got it to go. Oh, foot inside the line, they're gonna count that as a two. Jerry Johnson, as you saw, he waved off Louis Olson, said, get out of here, I don't want your screen, and then pulled up in the defender's eye and drained it. Vin Woods, another three, can't get it to go. Sundin pulls down the rebound. Sundin pushing tempo. You have to smother Sundin. You give him a little bit of space, he's going to shoot just like that. Can't get it to go. Richardson fighting for the board, but doesn't get it. Falls grabs it instead. Falls pushing tempo. Champ Hansen on the fast break. Right place, right time, right pass. Champ Hansen with the easy bucket. Now Jimmy Blake with the strip. He's going to drive. Gets blocked by Louis Olsen. That's Louis' third block tonight. These talons are blocking everything. Balls now, drives, slams it, throws Ulf to the ground. Cassius falls with a vicious dunk. Jerry Johnson, open three, splash. Doesn't get much easier than that for Jerry Johnson. Cassius Falls has got to be confident after that last dunk. Drives again. Floater. Got it to go. Cassius Falls is feeling it around the rim right now. Mo Booker. For some reason, he's just chilled out this season. Last couple years, Mo Booker is one of the most aggressive players in the league. But now you see him actually playing smart offense, facilitating his point. Mo. Force three. Got it. He's got such a quick trigger. Just like that, some great offense by the Choops. Completely negated by just two possessions. Talents because of their three point shooting ability. Choops fight hard for every point as you see the talents just throw up threes and get them to go. Richardson over to Booker. That was a risky pass. Booker, another three. Got that one to go. Just like that, Charm City is back on top, 26 to 25. We are well on our way for the lowest scoring game of the season if these teams don't pick it up. Thankfully, it's at least been a close game, so it's still fun to watch. Got to wonder what the coach is telling these players right now. I imagine it has something to do with pick up the offensive execution. You're going to be out of play. Everybody's struggling on the offensive side of the ball tonight. Jam Hansen. Going to work up top. Guarded by Louis Olson. It's over Frigioni. Sets the screen. Frigioni drives, floats. Can't get it to go. Jerry Johnson with the board. Allen's pushing tempo. Richardson, he can shoot. Got it. 
great shot by the Talons big man. Jimmy Coppers back on offense now. Cash just falls. Going to work on Oof again. Champ for three. Rims out. Oof's on Dean bringing the ball up court. Louis Olsen open in the corner. They don't find him. They get it to him down low, though, and he finishes the and one. Draws the foul from Cleveland. Louis Olsen has been great today. Extremely efficient on offense and a terrific shot blocker. Gets the and one opportunity to go. Over to Turner. Turner being guarded by Jerry Johnson again. Good passing by the two Cowboys on this possession. Frigioni though, being too passive with the Frigioni, he's got to take that shot. He had a little more space. Booker, three, can't get it to go. Cooley, thank goodness the Talents missed that one. Gives the two Cowboys another chance. Right now, their offense just looks dysfunctional. They've got to slow it down and set it up. And that's exactly what they're doing. Turner, mid-range. Got it to go. On offense, the Talons look like they know what they want on each possession. Whereas the Chupacabras are just throwing the ball around, looking for the mismatch. When they're not able to get it, they have to force something up. The coach needs to take over this game for the Chupacabras. You've got to start calling better offensive plays. It all starts with Prigioni. He has got to orchestrate this offense better. He is going to let the shot clock wind down to take the last shot. Smart play here. Pergione drives, gets the layup to go. That's why we want to see Pergione be more aggressive. He can make shots like that. And going into halftime, it is a five-point basketball game. Charm City Talons are leading the Duke City Chupacabras by a score of 34 to 29. One of the lowest scoring games I have ever been a part of. Still very exciting because of the closeness of the score. Halftime report, field goal percentage for both teams is what's doing it. Rebounding about even, assists are more on the side of the Talons, which is something you don't see often. Then you got the four blocks by the Talons compared to the zero for the Chupacabras. Chupacabras have got to start forcing turnovers on defense. Back out of halftime, I missed the opening possession. I apologize, but Mo Booker strips Prigioni as he goes up with the ball, a shot, and Jerry Johnson converts on the other end. Prigioni now bringing the ball up for the Chupacabras. So over to Turner. Turner going to work. He's going to drive. Good move to get to the rim, but can't finish. Shane Kerrigan pulls down the board. Mo Booker now has it, gets it over, ooh, wide open shot. Flurry of points right out of the gate for the Talons, extends the lead to nine. Darnell Turner gets it to Cleveland. Cleveland is open on the shot, but he doesn't shoot threes. Cassius falls open, but he also is not a good three shooter. Cassius takes a screen, alley-oop, 
Cleveland couldn't find it, and Shane Kerrigan picks it up. Jerry Johnson finds Mo Booker, who slams it home. 11-point lead for the Talents now. Turner is cold already for the Chupacabras. Cassius Falls has the ball up top. He's going to drive. Finds Cleveland down low. Cassius Falls can fit the ball through some of the tightest windows that I've ever seen. Cassius Falls is a terrific passer and was a great addition for these Chupacabras. The problem for these Chupacabras is with a passive Prigioni, a pass first false, a defense oriented center, Cleveland. They just don't have enough offense with their alternative champions and not pulling their weight. They have two good offensive players with Turner and Champ, uh, Champ Hansen, but they're just really, they're not superstar scorers, which is what the Chupacabras need. Junior Rollins, open three, got it. Ben Woods checking back into the game for the Chupacabras. If he's able to get the three ball to start to fall for him, this could be a difference maker for them. Prigioni going to work. Prigioni also a very good three shooter. He just does not shoot with confidence. He does not shoot very often. They're looking for a way to get Darnell Turner open, but they can't. They give up on it, and they set a screen for Prigioni. Prigioni drops it back to Cleveland. Bad pass. Sets Cleveland up with a bad opportunity. He gets rejected by the rim as Jerry Johnson gets the three to fall. Cassius Falls now bringing the ball up for the Chupacabras. It's a down low to Ben Woods who's going to work. Then back to Cassius. Cleveland sets the screen. Cassius attacks the rim. Gets his own board. Puts it back. And one. Cassius Falls playing a Aggressive and playing smart tonight. Such a good rebounder for the point guard position. 12 point lead now for the Charm City Talents. Gary is setting up the offense. Gets it over to Jerry. Jerry putting on some dribble moves. Gets stripped. Jerry gets the ball though. Richardson, mid range. Can't get it to go. Falls with the board. Falls pushing the tempo. He's going to go strong to the basket. No. Kicks it out to Blake, who should have shot it there, but didn't. Falls now open three. Can't get it to fall. Jerry Johnson now setting up the offense for the Talents. Weird screen set for Richardson and blocked by Vin Woods. Darnell Turner now has the possession. Chupacabra's working around the arc. Cleveland has the mismatch on Sundin, but can't finish it. Instead of going up strong, he gives a little bit of a fade. That's way too much space for Sundin. He shoots it, he can't get it to go. He's been cold tonight. A lot of shots. Falls attacks the rim, floats it, got it to go. Falls has been the answer on the offensive side of the ball of offensive side of the court. The Chupacabras all night tonight. Jerry, mid-range floater, Cleveland with the ball. Gets it over to Jimmy Blake, who hasn't really been able to do much. Great find there. Ben Woods, open layup. Back down to an eight-point game. Talents wasting no time getting the ball up court. Passing it all the way down in front of the ball. Takes the screen, drives, layup, doesn't go. Richardson with the board and the putback. That one falls. And it just falls now. Coach wants the ball in his hands. Very smart to do so. Now she's back out to Darnell. Darnell drives, kicks it out. Thinwood's open shot. 
can't get it to fall. Ben Woods normally a great shooter. One for six tonight. Junior for three. Absolutely dagger. That was just an absolute dagger after missing an open three. There's Ben Woods again. That time it falls. Back down to a ten point game. These talents just have no conscience when it comes to shooting threes. Jay Moore now driving. Tries to put it up over Falls. Bad idea. Falls with a great defense and the rebound. There's Habeas. Let's see if he goes up strong with this one. Going to work on Jerry. Well, that was Jay Moore. Jay Moore with a very smart foul there. There's no way he was stopping Jatavius Cleveland. Instead, he's going to take his chances at the free throw. Very smart play. Cleveland gets the first and gets the second. Eight-point lead for the Charm City Talents. Booker, three. Can't get it to go. Cleveland pulls down the board. Booker had nothing but open court in front of him, in front of him if he wanted to drive that. But instead, he went with the three. Cooley finds Cleveland. Layup is good. Six-point lead now for the Talents. Absolutely crazy pass by the Talents. Stolen by Darnell Turner. Just falls now attacking the ring. Instead he kicks it back outside. Good screen by Ben Woods. Mid-range jumper no good by Darnell Turner. Let's see if the talents slow it down. They've been kind of crazy with their last couple possessions. Booker fadeaway three. Almost from the logo. Can't get it. Richardson with the board back out to Jay Moore who doesn't get the wide open three to fall. This was the old Mo Booker that I've been missing. Turner three. Got it. Three point game. Two cobbers are climbing back into this one. Mo Booker absolutely ruthless on the last couple of possessions. So far, they're not even letting him touch the ball this one. Here comes Booker, has the ball. He pumps twice, drops it down to Richardson, and gets blocked by Cleveland. Gosh, just falls now. Gets it over to Turner, who's still attacking the rim. Got it! One point ball game. Chupa Cabras are right back in it. Oh, Booker going to work. You can tell he wants a bucket. Okay, there's about a three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Looks like Moe's going to let it wind down. Gets it over to Jay Moore. Jay has a couple more seconds to work with. Open mid-range, can't get it, and no time left on the clock. Very smart for Charm City to let that clock burn out so that they didn't allow another basket by the Chupacabras before the end of the quarter. What looked to be a blowout coming into the third ended up being a one-score game going into the fourth. Chupacabras are right back in it after the break. Don't let him back your way in. Just hold your ground. The other thing, too, is once he picks the ball up, he's not going to shoot it. If he does, just stay down on him. All right, and we're back. Let's see if the Duke City Chupacabras can keep this offensive flow going. But Jay Moore gets the strip. Passes it up to Shane Kerrigan. Attacks the rim and gets it to go. Good start to the quarter by the Talons. Grigioni now setting up the offense. Balls has it up top. Pick and roll. Good coverage by the Talons and another strip. 
turnovers have made a huge difference in this game. More open three. Got it. Six point lead now for the Talents. Chupacabras cannot let this game start to get out of hand again. Turner, open mid range. Can't get it. Cleveland with the board. And the putback is good. Jatavius Cleveland doing all he can on the boards tonight. Four point game. Which Mo we get from this quarter? Ooh, deep three. Can't get it to go. These talons are just shooting themselves back out of the game. Mo and Ooh just taking crazy shots the last quarter and a half. Ooh, Sundin with a good block. Falls with his own board, puts it up again, and can't get it to go. Here we download the Louis. Louis able to draw the foul on Champ Hansen. I want to see Champ Hansen step up in this fourth quarter and actually start to make some shots. The Chupacabras need it. They need Champ Hansen to take over offensively. That's what they brought him here for. Friendly schedule upcoming for the Chupacabras. After this game, they should get four in a row. That should help them build some heat. Maybe they'll look a little bit stronger coming out of the break. Balls now. Over two guys. Thankfully, he's able to draw the foul, so he'll get the shoot free throws. Bad offensive possession. I almost get the sense that Falls just doesn't trust the rest of his team on offense. Anymore. And he gets both to go. Four-point basketball game. Mo Booker. Let's see if he shoots from the logo. Not this time. One foot inside. Puts it down to ooh, uh, Shane Kerrigan. Great pass by Mo. Even better catch by Shane down low and able to put it up over Cassius. Charm City normally has some of the worst defense in the league. With Jay Moore and Shane. Have forced so many turnovers tonight that they're looking really strong. Mid range shot. Back over to Falls for three. Got it! Cassius Falls doing it all tonight. Three point ball game. Paul Booker hits it over to Jerry. Jerry's been quiet. Kicks it over to Louie. Do what Mo can do. Mo back to Jerry. Open three. Got it to go. Chupacabras now. Looking to get back on the scoreboard. Good crossover. Arnold Turner taking the one-on-one -on -one against Jerry Johnson. Floats up the mid-range, can't get it. There's Cleveland to save the day again. Sixteen points for Cleveland tonight. Jerry Johnson, a wide open mid-range. Can't get it to go. Louis Olsen, no, Shane Kerrigan. I keep getting those guys mixed up. Shane Kerrigan with a great rebound and putback. Shane has been everything the Talents wanted and more tonight. Darnell Turner with the great offensive move to get to the rim. Picks up the foul along the way, gets the and one opportunity. Turner good on the three point play. Sundin with a three, got it to go. Six point ball game. Chuba Gabras have got to pick up their defensive efforts. Yeah. 
Turner, three. Can't get it to fall. Cleveland with another one. Champ for three. Can't get that to fall either. Will Sundin for three. Drills that one in their eye. That's what I mean by just no conscience. You watch the Chupacabras miss two open threes in a row, and then Ulf just says, hey, watch me drill it in your eye. Honestly, this Talons team is made up of players who could turn good teams to great teams. Any one of these great shooters for the Talons goes to the Chupacabras, their good team instantly becomes a great team. Because that's what they're missing is a good shooter. But altogether, you gotta wonder if the Talons just have too much shooting. As Turner gets the speed, the rebound and the putback. Seven point ball game. There's no time to mess around. Trooper Cobras have got to get a stop on defense. And there it is, Francois Prigioni picks Booker's pocket. They got to convert on offense, though. Turner pumps, gets it back to Champ. They're going to set up the offense. Very smart. Screen's being set down low. Turner gets the ball, shoots the contested three. Can't get it to fall. They got the steal on defense, couldn't finish on offense as Mo drains another one. Ten point lead for the Talons now. These Talons can just fire back so quickly. Turner drives, floater, got it. Darnell Turner, 8 for 19 tonight. Shooter has two in the fourth quarter tonight. Chicago third. One steal away. Instead, they allow the easy layup by Shane Kerrigan. Game's still not over. They just got to have another quick offensive possession. This coaching timeout should be used to get them ready. At the, the guys know what to do offensively. Set some screens to get a shooter over. Defensively, though, you've got to be prepared. You can't let the talent get a quick score on you. And instead, Darnell Turner hands the ball over. And then draws the foul. I picks up the foul on the other end. Gave him two free throws. Making this game a lot harder on themselves as it is about to be a nine point. That's going to be game. Vin Woods missed way too many wide open threes tonight. 
I wouldn't count on him to do that every game. Sometimes you just have a bad shooting. Ball throws it away. Looks like it was hit by Jerry Johnson. As you watch the highlight mobile one block of the game, Louis Olsen erases Champ Hansen. Olsen able to just sit on the bench and take a good rest, as does most of the other talent starters. Give me Blake, mid range, got it to go. Junior Rollins should just dribble out the clock here. Offensive performances by both teams tonight didn't stop us from enjoying an exciting back and forth game. Chupacabras, I feel for the GM. He's got lots of work to do. He's making all the right decisions. His players just are not translating it onto the court. Thanks everybody for tuning in to this SBF Week 4 matchup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you around the league.